Hello friends in Christ. It is Friday. I love Friday. And uh, today we are continuing to talk about living simply through the day. Yesterday we talked a little bit about um, thinking about a simple day and living a simple life. And today we are going to talk about how and when to start your day. So waking, opening the day. So I have chosen from Lamentations a couple of verses which I think you will recognize because of a wonderful hymn that I love and I'm sure you love. It's Lamentations 3 verses 22 and 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Truly, God's faithfulness is great. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about simple seeing, simple praying, and simple activity today to uh, help our days be a little more simple. Simple seeing. Emerging from that twilight between sleep and waking, we notice our drowsiness, the light, the pillow, the room. Quick we leap, quick we, quickly we leap from this simple seeing to something more. The drowsiness turns to memory of a late night, the light to awareness of a rainy day, and trying to remember where we left our umbrella. The pillowcase is dingy. Hmm, when did we change our bedding last? The room clicks off snatches of other random thoughts and feelings. Within seconds of waking, our minds are off and running, scattered and judging. The growing world clouds and, com com and complicates our sight like a swirl of leaves in an autumn gust. What can we do? First, notice what is happening without judgment. See the leaves whirling around. Smile gently into yourself. Simplify that scattered energy by going backward. The room, the pillow, the light, the drowsiness. They just are. Let them be there a few seconds without doing anything to them. Then let that energy focus wordlessly on your abiding intention for confidence, acceptance, and simplicity. Simple praying. If active prayer during the day is your custom, let it first come now. Keep it simple. A simple, a simply felt solidarity with suffering and grace. End by turning the day over, letting it be, relaxing into God. Let the last seconds before rising be very still, clear, and calm. Just be there. Young children bursting into the room and other kinds of fast starts don't always allow such a beginning. Sometimes this all must be telescoped in a few seconds. But at least assure yourself those. Simple activity. Now, slowly rise. Don't jerk yourself out of bed. Let your rising flow from your resting. It can be one continuous flow. In the bathroom, letting go bodily wastes and washing can continue your sense of simplifying the day, clearing it of accretions. Leave your TV and radio off, or we would have to say cell phones or iPads now, at least for the first few minutes. As you wash and dress, just participate in the flow of these simple activities without judgment, without a busy internal dialogue that takes you out of the flow. This simple presence in simple actions has a way of allowing more in-touchness and contentment with what is present already. We are less panicked and grasping for something outside to literally occupy us such as a radio or a TV program or a cell phone or the news or whatever it may be. Once we are calmed down inside and find out we don't really need those other things, we can move on. 
then it becomes an optional stimulant, picking up our phones or whatever, and not a compulsive one. And it is more likely to enhance, or at least not dull or ki kill our underlying clarity. So what he's talking about here is waking up with gentleness and faithfulness so that when you wake up, you become conscious of where you are in the present moment before all the flood of ideas and things that are going to happen that day come rushing in. I start with a very simple prayer every day. And maybe you start that way too. If not, he's talking about then moving out of your bed slowly and into your morning routine slowly, being mindful and prayerful of what you're doing. Tomorrow I will talk about prayer and uh, some different when we pray and how we pray and those kind of things will be in the next days to come. So think about tomorrow morning when you awaken of simply entering into the day in the presence of God. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness that you wake us each morning and as we come to consciousness that another day is before us, help us to be first conscious of you, of the blessings you've given us, especially the gift of another day. We pray that you will guide us into a simpler life, one perhaps that we've been testing through this coronavirus, but one that really can center everything we do throughout the day we pray that you will guide us and show us. For we are yours and we love you and we want to deepen our love for you. We pray these prayers and pray together the prayer that your son taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I pray you will be fully uh, conscious of God's presence as you awaken in the morning and enter a simple